We feel what we dwell upon. In other words, your emotions are not an accident. Once this sinks in, it's a very empowering realization. Maybe a little bit scary, but in actuality, much more exciting. It means that your down moments, those gray feelings, don't just get generated out of thin air. Are you aware of this? Did you realize that what you're feeling is a consequence of what you've been thinking about, of your most dominant and recurring thoughts? Most people are completely perplexed when they hear this. It rattles them, it confuses them, it frustrates them, and most will just ignore what I'm saying. This is because they've been taught throughout their lives that feelings just happen. Even worse, more recently, they've been taught to trust their feelings, that their feelings are true, whatever that means. So let me repeat this again slightly differently. We feel emotionally what we've been dwelling on mentally. What we've been repetitively thinking about and replaying in our minds gets expressed via our emotions. If we are essentially regurgitating events that upset us, we will naturally feel upset. If we double down and justify why we are indeed entitled to feel so rotten, the negative roots will grow deeper still. The more we try to rationalize our negativity, the more entrenched that negativity will be and the more immobilized we will become. If we itemize and tally up our disappointments and grievances against others, we will stay frustrated and angry. If we express our negativity to others, we impress it deeper into our own consciousness. Eventually, if we hold on to that anger long enough, it will turn into bitterness. And bitterness is a tough adversary to defeat. The same is true with guilt. Harbored long enough, it converts to shame. And shame never produced anything good. Fortunately, the Apostle Paul gave us clear and unambiguous instructions on how to manage our thought life and thereby our emotional life. Imprisoned, chained, and under guard, he wrote these beautiful words as translated in the message. You'll do best by filling your minds and meditating on things true, noble, reputable, authentic, compelling, gracious. The best, not the worst. The beautiful, not the ugly. Things to praise, not things to curse. This is Tommy Newberry, because mindset makes all the difference.